Hey, folks, we might not have our workshop yet, but um, Brian's working away in his temporary workshop. <laughs> Remember the storage shed? He's got his whole outfit set up here, and he's working on the spindles for the stairs. So trying out the drill press idea, trying out a few of the suggestions that you guys had as far as helping that router or helping that tenon bit work a little bit better. All right, I got the drill press all set up. Twist it around. I clamped the back just to give it some support this way. Since the base is on the side now, I didn't want it to tip that way. Um, of course, I'll be putting downward pressure on the front anyway, but just in case. Now, what I do need is something to clamp these two. I can't hold it with my hands. They'll rip right out of my hands and this thing will go flying around. So I'm going to try and make, I got these leftover railroad tie pieces. I'm going to screw them together. So I have something heavy to clamp to so that it's not going to want to rotate. Uh, and then should work out okay. Let's see how close I can get those to the the bench press there or the bench bench press. Uh, so I'm going to screw these two uh, railroad ties together. I've got some long timber locks, eight inches or no, these are ten inches I think. And then uh, go from there. Alright, so why this wasn't cutting before very well. So they sent it with loose bolts. So this had slid all the way back. And so <clears throat> the blade was not exposed enough to actually cut the wood. So I've adjusted this one. You can see the gap now is much smaller. And I've got it tightened up real good. So hopefully it'll cut nicer. Take chunks out. So now I just got to adjust this one here. With the Allen key. Uh, use a little uh, spacer, a uh, shim, wood shim to uh, create the gap. So. Seemed to work a lot better and I, I had that actually adjusted properly. Less mess. This is how I've got it rigged up. <laughs> Very heavy. Keep it from rotating. Two clamps, one on the top, one on the bottom. Uh, it's not pretty, but it does the job perfectly. <laughs> Too curvy. Too curvy. 
can't use. Bad choice. Oh, there's our discard pile over there. There you go, nice little workbench for yourself. I don't have to be crouching on the ground. Yeah, like a modern man. Yeah. Standing up, using your tools. Yeah. To move the workshop inside. It's cold. It burr. But from some warm fall to winter. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's progressing good. Okay. This is definitely helping. The tapering it. Tapering them a yeah. little bit. The pre-taper. Yes, I think what happened was it was having a hard time. Maybe a hard piece, like a knot or something. And so I was putting a lot of pressure on it, and yeah. I think it kind of warmed the blade up, and then. Oh. It kind of it dulled it off so I had to we got a it had a ridge oh. rolled back oh on there so you can kind of feel a little bit one right now but it still feels short okay so I think if I'm not so aggressive just let it if it's not going don't force it right yeah so. but you didn't realize the first time that the blade had shifted I didn't even realize they were adjustable till I look at it close up. Yeah, well, we're, when we were out there, I, I figured it they came tight out of the box, right? It yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you were just no. hopes and dreams. Yeah, hopes and dreams. Oh. Well, so you got a little um, um, process figured out here. So you successfully able to move the bit over or move the move the drill press over, twist it. Right. That's a plus. That was something we didn't know we could do. Right, so, yeah, it was just, just this handle here makes it swivel. I saw this. This just keeps it from coming down. Mm -hmm. So that doesn't get moved, but... They don't make them like they used to, do they? I don't know. You know I don't know what the new ones are like, so... Yeah. But I've, I've... You know, I grew up with this one. My mm -hmm. dad had it his whole life. Mm -hmm. Practically, so... Uh, <coughs> it, was, it was nice to realize that that swiveled out of the way. Mm. So and I just have it <coughs> clamped in the back there, just so that the weight of it doesn't mm -hmm. want to topple it. But okay. you know, I'm pushing against. This is right on the floor, so when I'm pushing down, it's not going to go. Yeah. If anything's going to go that way. <laughs> okay. So. Oh. Uh, they're nice and heavy, so it provides um, anti-rotation. Oh, okay. You know, because there's a lot of mass, it would have to spin. Like, if I was just holding it, it would rip out of my hand. Mm -hmm. So, clamp that there, and then I clamp it up. <laughs> Watch out for falling saws, or whatever yeah. that was. Pretty good. Double check that. My light. Oh, I unplugged it. I always unplug it when I'm working on it standard 
safety protocol. stop on the mechanism. Oh, okay. So as long as these are all the same length, which a lot, most of them are, because I cut them all four feet. Mm -hmm. And this should be about an inch and a half. Oh, look, there's a little pile there. Look at that. That's nice. Yeah. So. All right. Good workaround. Yes. Pretty, pretty big uh, spindles. Pretty thick. Yeah. Well, there won't not be much all, space. But, but not all that thick. But. Uh, you got the getting down to business look. Yeah, so I'm going to get them all marked out. Okay. So this is the original stair tread template. Right. You've modified it. Yes. So now I've got... So four... Spindles per stair tread. And uh, for about four inches in between, well, four inches in between. There's a, probably a little bit short on this one. Mm -hmm. This is, if you. Because the way that this is kind of scooped out right there? Well, no, just because of the, the way it's measured out, it's not. There's a little bit shy of four, but no one's going to notice. Because okay. all these things are going to be different sizes anyways. Right, right. So, um, but it's close. So four inches. So, so now I'm just going to drill a hole here. And then this will be my guide for every step. So mm -hmm. I just line it flush on the front, flush on the edge here, mm -hmm. clamp it, drill it, boom. Boom. Okay. Bit of bada boom. Bit of boom. Just a uh, one eighth inch hole initially, and then I'll use the the one inch bit. I'll either use this one or these ones are better. These are one bits are. They've got a uh, a thread on them, so that really draws it down. Because mm. yeah, I gotta go in like an inch and a half, so mm -hmm. it might be. These are always a little tougher to drill with. Hmm. So, but okay. what I'll do is I'll do a test uh, in the... Actually, I got a, a blank stair tread somewhere. Hmm. I haven't used. This oh, one. There's one right there. It's not stained. So just a junky one. There's a... Man, can't believe you just drilled into our nice stairs. I know, right? Oh, it makes you nervous. I, it? I did it like a thousand times in my head, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, no. At least they're just little baby holes. You can't even see them right this For way. now. <laughs> I know. They're going to be all. It's going to be ginormous holes. Ooh. Okay. All right, so we wrapped up this, they're wrapping up the spindle making, well, this tenon making portion mm -hmm. of this uh, project here. It came along, I think it came along, uh, went well. Mm -hmm. The um, the process after, you know, doing a couple little trial runs, it sped it up pretty quick. And so I was really zipping through making the, the tenons on the, the spindle. So. I was surprised when I came out, I saw yeah. all those tenons made and I was like, wow, okay. I really zipped yeah. through, yeah. even in winter weather. Yeah. <laughs> it's like making a big retaining wall in one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Pat on the back. And I'm at, I'm at the exhaustion point of my week. So. Oh, yeah, Monday. <laughs> when you're... I can't do anything. I come home and I'm like... And you go back to work. Yeah, and you're like, exactly. oh. And I, I got to go to work to relax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next step here? So we... So the next step is... Uh, glue them in? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, so the... Uh, put in the... the in, one spindle in each staircase initially to get all the positions, the radius and everything positioned. So I'll drill a hole in the one below and then it'll attach to that stair and then also attach to this one. So there'll be uh, two attachment points. So every st stair will actually, when you step on a stair up there, it's actually going to transition weight all the way down to the bottom hmm. because this this stair will push down onto this stair, which will push down onto this stair, which will push down on that stair, and then to the floor. So we won't be rocking and rolling up so, the stairs anymore? Hopefully our <laughs> creakiness up on the first landing will go away. So anyway, so there'll be, there'll be some tricks to get that, because like this one here, it doesn't come straight across. There's a little bit of a curve in it, so I'm not repositioning the spindle, but we're going to have uh, a little something to, to fix that. Mm -hmm. Um, so a few of the stairs will have that. Mm -hmm. um, it'll be a, a little extra character to it. Not every stair, but there's second one from the bottom, mm -hmm. and then some others on the way up. So, um, cool. So All yeah, right. It'll make it look unique and so on. So yeah. So attach this the one spindle first, and then from there we'll um, we'll figure out the alignment of the railing. And then uh, I'd like to have the railing put onto that and then add the other spindles afterwards. So mm. that's, that's the plan in my head. So <laughs> we'll see how it turns some, out. <laughs> there's always some uh, adjustments along the way yeah. if you need to. So Yeah. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed uh, our, our problem solving. And we definitely took tips from you guys as far as uh, taking a closer look at that tool. So we got it all figured out so far. For sure. You can say... Uh, Screws are never tight out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> so. Guys, right. we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.